I thought you've already been briefed, <laughs> Look, so I'll really go over weird. this quick. The mission of this Whoa! facility is to bring dinosaurs back oh. to life for the whole world to see. I love dinosaurs. With the research we've done in this lab, I believe we can do this just This lab what. is way better there's than Bessie's lab. one problem. Wait, there's problems? To make a living dinosaur, we need to study the completed fossil of Whoa. a really old dinosaur. I think that's a triceratops. That's where you come in. Wait, where do I come in? Just the front door? This facility, there are cave systems rich with dinosaur Whoa. bones and I love dinosaurs. Every time you dig up a bone, I already said that, I think. Added to the collection in our fossil exhibit. Okay, I got it. All right, I'm, I've already been a paleontologist be one other time before. Lab on the second floor of this facility. Now, the other researchers and I will take care of the, uh, oh, you know, technical, oh, Wait a second, stuff, is that going to become uh, we'll let you a T-flipping Rex? No way. I recommend getting familiar with the rest of the facility before heading off to the cave. This place is so cool. Take a look around the rest of the lab. Walk around the exhibit where the living dinosaurs will be housed. All right, buddy. I get it. I own a T-Rex and also three beautiful velociraptors. Right then. Good luck. I'm Thank sure you. will be back soon with enough bones to make an entire park of living dinosaurs. I hope so. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you are the research doctor. I am digging for dinosaur bones. I've done this a few other times, so you know I am kind of a professional amateur, sort of. They didn't really tell me where to go. It says look around or go to the caves and dig. The thing is, guys, I've never been here my entire life. Bessie sent me away to Dinosaur Digging Camp and basically told me to just follow her best friend, the researcher. Hello, researchers. How you guys doing? I'm guessing these are the ways that Bessie actually gets our dinosaurs living as well. I used to be a miner like you. What? But then I took an arrow to the knee. Oh. Doing my part. Oh, oh. You. Okay. I didn't realize you guys talk. My scientists don't really talk too much. So let's see if we can find our way to the mines. Because today I'm trying to get at least one full dinosaur complete. By the way, guys, if you do want to see some more second channel videos, I need you to just drop as many likes as you can. Welcome if we can hit at least a thousand, I'll upload training, a part so two. Follow me. Oh, hey, Mr. Miner. <laughs> this guy's super dirty. Look at these emeralds. You can mine these later. Hey, how you doing, Jerry? Just around the Jerry, can, can, you, can you give me a pickaxe, please, Jerry? Jerry, please stop being such a Jerry. Can I, I just need a pickaxe, bro. Here it is. Whatever, the Jerry. So let's see. We have... Oh, thanks, Jerry. No so looks like this is the cave map. So I come in here. It looks like it goes this way, like a giant hot dog pancake kangaroo. I also just realized it says doctor as the cave layout. It's kind of interesting. All right, let's see. This might have... Whoa! This is the... Most overpowered pickaxe ever! Look at it! Look at it go! <laughs> My hands is going insane! Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna get some emeralds because apparently, from what I've seen, Bessie said we can also upgrade to giant dinosaur digging machines. Hopefully by part two I can get that. It'll make this way easier. What's this? What's this? Exclamation point. Do I hit it? Hello? Wait, is this a fossil? Kinda looks like a staircase to me. Don't forget, you need to dig up every piece of bone. Okay, all right. We can't hold I'm on it. Don't exists. worry, I, I got it, dude. Okay, let's get that piece. Look at that piece. Get some of these pieces. Wait, I do? My, why are there scaffolds on my head? Wait a second. I can just keep taking scaffolding? What the heck, dude? Is it all just in my brain? Oh. Oh my gosh, I'm just spitting it out like cookies. Now the miner said I need to make sure to get every single part. If I don't, I won't be able to send it back to the researchers. Oh, thank the you. Thanks. I wonder what type of dinosaur it belongs I to. I really, really hope it's a T-flipping Rex. Also, a Triceratops would be pretty dang cool. Now, how do I know if I've got the whole thing? Scaffold, scaffold. Whoa, whoa, okay. Scaffolding the case quickly. The scaffolding images is flashing. It's about to collapse. I don't want to collapse. Okay, <laughs> it just collapsed on my head. If there are any specific dinosaurs you guys do want me to try and find the fossils for, be sure to comment down below. My personal favorite is a T-Rex, but be sure to comment whatever your favorite is down below. Hopefully soon I can get my hands on one of the giant mining machines, because then it'll be like 10 times easier to mine up all of these different blocks. Oh, cool, I found a, a staircase fossil. Oh, wait a second. Yo, oh, okay. Uh, I don't know how I just teleported. Did it work? Wait, the uh, Triceratops was found? Yeah, Want me to find all the bones? Wait, what is this thing? Oh, I have a fast travel? Hold on, where does this take me? Fast traveling. Interact. Okay, oh my gosh, that is insane. I gotta get Bessie to make me one of those. Now, wait a second. I have a lot of emeralds, and I also apparently collected everything for the Triceratops. Actually, never mind. I only collected its body. We still need the Triceratops head. We need its horns. We need some more legs. Possibly maybe a tail as well. Yeah. <laughs> 
No, I didn't do that. I swear. No, nobody saw anything. I also think I just stumbled across the living exhibit. It's looking like this is probably where I'll place all the different dinosaurs in my giant Jurassic Park. This is where my Tyrannosaurus Rex is gonna go. This enclosure is way better than the one I have on my world. To be fair though, a lot of T-Rexes are probably gonna go in there, not just one. But we might as well go see what I can buy with my emeralds, because if 20 emeralds is enough to possibly buy some cookies or maybe a mining machine, I'll probably just get the cookies. Hey there, sir, how you doing? I have 20 happy with my emeralds. Uh, all right, all right, you creepy dude. Don't ever do that again. Nobody wants to take my flippin' emeralds. Hello, how you doing? Oh, I found it. I do have a lot of emeralds. Ten bonus emeralds, let's go. Okay, okay. Uh, I have 30 emeralds to spend. I could buy one TNT, a swiftness potion. I could also save up and get the large driven drill, which looks insane. Comment down below which one I should get for next episode. I'm thinking one of these three are probably my best bet. Wait a second, I can test it? Yo, large drill. Hold on. Let's see this thing. All right, I'm inside this beast of a machine. Let's test it out. Oh, no way. It legitimately mines a three by three radius automatically. It's settled. I got to save up for this thing. I think my best bet is to get as many emeralds as possible just so I can save up and get that giant drill. So then in the future, I could just keep collecting more emeralds, more fossils, and ultimately more dinos. Hey, you got any emeralds, buddy? I will trade you 52 scaffolding for an emerald or a cookie or possibly 17 cookies. Man, when he doesn't know is I could just multiply these from my head. No? Okay, you're good. All right, I'll come back another time. Watch out for TNT. barrels of TNT. Got it. Okay, where would those barrels be oh wait a second we got so many emeralds is this the barrel of tnt okay i'm gonna take it out i think we're safe oh wait a second boys look we got another fossil don't mind if i do the fossils look very very strange then again i've also never seen a real life dinosaur fossil so this could be what they look like they could all just be made out of quartz blocks i don't know now if i want to be smart about this i'll take it down from the top to the bottom so then i don't have to use scaffolding see i do indeed have a kind of big brain and bessie thought i wouldn't be able to do this what a nub this might possibly be the biggest dinosaur fossil ever it's literally at least twice the size of the other one and i don't even know if i'm close to mining it all oh my gosh dude i don't know how people do this for a living this has to be it right this is the last couple pieces of the hopefully t-rex fossil did i do it i i don't see any more white bits oh wait we got one up there and yes i got a caranosaurus hold up i gotta look up this thing a caranosaurus reptile oh it looks sweet it's got like a weird tail on its head uh, i think i may have gotten lost a little bit hold up boys we got ourselves another fossil this one appears to be a very tiny fossil yes we got a pterosaur that's literally that's it i got a little tiny tailbone this is gonna take forever I really need to start saving up for, you know, something big. Wait a second. What's over here? Okay. I don't think I was supposed to find this. Oh, finally, dudes. I found a way to blow up all the TNT I've been collecting. I don't know if it collects any of the blocks, so I don't know how if I, you know, want to test it or if it works. But we do have a giant fossil right here. Now, if this isn't a T-Rex or possibly a Brachiosaurus, you know, the guys with the super long necks, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. I guess it's a pretty good time to test out the TNT. Cross your fingers, boys. Hopefully this works. Please don't blow up the fossil. Please don't blow up the fossil. Please don't blow up the fossil. Hello? Did you guys blow up the fossil? I don't think so. Wait a second. There's more down here. Okay, guys. This is easily the biggest fossil yet. I know I've been saying that about a lot of fossils, but I am pretty new to this. I've only mined up like three fossils. And I ran out of the white parts. Where's the white parts? Well, fire in the hole. Hopefully it's down there. Come on. Give me a big one. Oh my gosh. I almost killed myself. Okay, big, huge, massive problem. I don't see any more fossils. Any fossils over here? Come on, please, TNT. Wait, I think I see it. Okay, that was, that was a waste. Let's just scaffold our way up here, and boom, last piece, hopefully. Are you kidding me? Wait, yes, we did it. The Spinosaurus. Oh, we found the head and the legs. This guy right here, uh, 
he's looking at me. I think I'm gonna call him Alfonso. Okay, I've had enough in here. Uh, don't look at me like that. My objective today is simple, and that is to bring a dinosaur back to life. I'm not sure if it's possible, but I know I can do it. By the way, if you guys aren't already subscribed to the second channel, be sure to turn that subscribe button red or, or gray. I don't know what color it turns after you click it, but make it that color. <laughs> I'm the worst YouTuber ever. Ooh, we found another dude. Uh, hey, okay, cool. Which wall uh, do I dig in this wall? Are you telling me to dig right behind you? I think he wants me to dig right behind him. Don't mind if I do. Wait a second. Yes, he actually was. Look, there's a fossil. So guys, throughout the video, if you do see any fossils that I potentially miss, which is... Is, uh, probably gonna happen because my eyesight is very very bad sometimes I can't even see things right in front of my face but just drop a comment down below with a timestamp of where you saw the fossil also be sure to comment your favorite dinosaur down below I would love to know which fossils you guys would like me to mine out first even though I can't really tell because they kind of look like quartz blocks and they also look like stairs at the same time but if I had to guess this is probably a triceratops I'm not sure why it's a triceratops I just yep I'm gonna put my money on it now also in today's episode I know for a fact we can unlock more more mining machines so i don't have to use this pickaxe obviously it's super good it's super quick it mines fossils like a pro but uh it, it's, it's not as fast as i would like it to be so yeah as soon as i'm done mining out this entire fossil we'll head back to the main lobby and hopefully we're able to unlock some more machines this could potentially take minutes could also take hours could take years <laughs> I'm not really sure this could be the biggest fossil in existence. Think of it, it, it just never stops. It just literally keeps on going. Please, please just stop, stop. I know you, somebody's spawning in more fossils. There's no way this is still the same one. Oh my gosh. Oh, this passed my bedtime. We gotta be close. Okay, a little bit over there. A little bit more over here. Who puts more fossils over here? This is actually insane. This is just straight insanity. At this point, I honestly have no idea what this fossil is going to be. Be sure to comment down below which dinosaur you think it might be. I don't know. Whatever the biggest dinosaur is, maybe like a Bronchiosaurus, could be that. I also may have completely butchered that name. I think it might be a Brachiosaurus. Ooh, you thought I was going to miss this part. Not today. I'm a professional dinosaur digger. There is no way I missed a part. So normally, if you guys missed the last episode, it will take you back to the dinosaur display casing whenever you dig up the whole fossil. The problem is, it hasn't done that yet, so I'm missing parts. But it's literally not possible. I've been mining for like 10 minutes straight. Hello? Fossil! Are you down there? I don't see any fossils. Maybe a little bit of TNT will help. Fire it all! Please work, please work, please work, please work. <laughs> the music cut out. That doesn't sound good. Ooh, we got some emeralds. But like, seriously, I don't know about you guys. I'm looking around. I don't see any fossils. Oh, You're a no, flipping liar. No, no, stop about talking about mining, okay? All right, get your stinking dirty butt in the mine. Tell me where the rest of the fossil is. I have emeralds. You like emeralds? No, really? Okay, fine. Get lit on fire, bro. <laughs> I lit myself on fire. Oh, wait a second. I think I found it. It was hiding right under my nose the entire time. Yes, we did it. We got a Brontosaurus. I was pretty close. Okay, cool. Now that we did that, I went ahead. Those fossils Back. aren't gonna excavate themselves. Yes, I understand, Mr. Miner. I get it. Now, ladies and gentlemen, off camera, I was mining a ton. So I think I should hopefully have enough Welcome emeralds to, to unlock Take something a look at the store in the shop. If you have emeralds to spend. Okay, cool. I really want this giant machine right here. And then maybe we can eventually get the backhoe. But let's see. Do I have enough? Three, two, one, please. No. How many am I missing? Do I have to like cash them in? Because I definitely have enough. Okay, maybe I don't. Let's try this one. Oh, I actually bought it. I had to be so close to getting this one because I still have a ton of emeralds left over. But ladies and gentlemen, we have the biggest, baddest Minecraft mining machine other uh, uh, other than this little guy right here. But it's okay. We got the second best. Now let's hop inside. I don't know. Okay, it comes automatically with fuel. I really can't see. Welcome to the shop. I've Take been in the shop. The I get it. Okay. You dingus. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, buddy. But let's head over here, and hopefully this thing can mine 10 times faster than anything I've had before. Hey, oh, Jeffrey, open up. Thanks, Jeffrey. <laughs> I'm so excited. This thing is sick. Okay, let's see. If I walk up to a wall, do I right-click? How do I use this bad boy? Okay, let's hit this button. Can I, can I hit that button? What button do I press? Dig! <laughs> it's not working. Watch out, dude. I'm going to run over Steve. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. There we go, mine. Yes, it's working. I literally got to get right up into it and then just click as hard as I can. Yeah, there we go. So I think I'm right on the edge 
of some blocks. So let's go see if I can find another fossil to mine up. Yeah, there we go, we got one! Okay, as long as I hold it down, it's definitely a lot slower than a pickaxe, but it should be able to get most of the job done. There we go. So wait a second, it's actually looking like it's mining the entire area around the fossil, not the fossil itself. I guess that's still okay. Okay, let's hop out of this thing and let's start mining up the beautiful fossil. This made it honestly like 10 times easier because now I don't have to worry about all the surrounding blocks. The excavator can take care of that. And the best thing is it just completely destroys the blocks. So I don't collect them. It doesn't clog on my inventory. I can just get right in and get to the good stuff. Now, this one doesn't seem to be a huge fossil. So I'm guessing it's going to be probably part of a smaller dinosaur. Maybe like a velociraptor. But I'm hoping we uncover the majority of it so I don't have to go searching around for more hidden fossils. There we go. That should be the last part. Yes. Oh, we actually found a part. The head of the Triceratops, wait, we're so close. Okay, chill, 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 get out of my face. So ladies and gentlemen, I think we only need to find one more part of the Triceratops in order to unlock it. And then the scientists can start working on a process in order to bring it back to life. I see another fossil. It's a little bit hidden up here, but it did not get by me. You guys didn't know I am the best gosh darn dinosaur digger this side of the entire universe. I mean, there's a couple people on Mars that might be a little bit better than me, but I don't know if Martians are real. Now, the problem is this one's super high up, so the excavator's having a little bit of trouble mining those high up blocks. We're slowly and steadily starting to uncover it. I really hope this is a Triceratops. Okay, I think that might be enough. Let's go ahead out here, How about that giant weird looking machine, and let's start mining. This is honestly super satisfying. There we go. Everything's already cut out from the excavator. And just like that, we are so close to mining this entire fossil up. There's a couple trying to hide in the ceiling. Stop it. I know your tricks. This should be the last of it right up here. And let's see what kind of dinosaur we just excavated. Come on, come on. Triceratops, please. I need a Triceratops. Wait, hold up. No, 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 no. What did I miss, dudes? I don't see anything. There is literally no sign of any more fossils. Hey, buddy, you, you're literally just standing around. Do you want to help me, please? Oh, man, mining is my favorite. I get it. They should make a game about that. Mine? Okay, well, they technically did. It's called Minecraft. We're playing it right now. Do you not know you're inside of a video game? I feel very bad for this guy. Oh, wait a second. I think I found the rest of it. Yes! Wait a second. Oh, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. We just found the tail, the Dad, legs, and the hands. The some of them contain TNT. Uh, well, how does your voice keep changing? You're talking about this TNT? Boom! Yeah, I, I know. TNT explodes. Pretty crazy stuff. All right, boys. My new game plan for this video, if I want to try and get the Triceratops today, is to mine as many emeralds as possible so that I can upgrade and get the biggest mining drill you guys have probably ever seen. So, I think I managed to mine a ton of emeralds. And, uh, is this? No. Wait, what? How did I get to this side of the map? I guess this is a pretty good spot to leave my giant excavator drill. And now we can head back and see if I indeed got enough emeralds to unlock the biggest, baddest mining dinosaur machine ever. I really hope I did it. Come on. Hey, what's up, dude? Welcome can you give me some shop, emeralds? Okay, I will take a look at your store. I want this. Are you serious? How many do I need? 64 plus 64 plus 64 plus 64 plus 64 plus 64. Currently, I have 384 emeralds. And if I'm not mistaken, sir, this is 175 emeralds. What do you make of this? Do you have any idea how to do math? Give me it. Give me it. No, give me it. Give me the dag machine. <laughs> I just want to get it. It looks so cool. I just want to be cool. It looks so beautiful. Okay, let's see. Can I respawn it? Maybe it's just glitch. It, it's not glitched. Is there anything? Uh, how? Can I maybe get this one? Can I test drive it? Look how beautiful it is, guys. It looks amazing. Then I can go in here. Look how fast it mines stuff. Look at it. Watch this. It literally just destroys it. It's so much better than my giant other machine. Can I have it now, please? Can I have it now? Come on. Fine. I'll take your small little... Wait, I can't... Why? Why can't I have the small drill? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess I'm stuck with this bad boy. My goal today is to unlock one final dinosaur and also get a lot more emeralds because apparently he doesn't like whatever emeralds I gave him. Now, I do see one more dinosaur fossil all the way up here hiding in the corner. Please be a triceratops. Please, I'll give you 12 cookies if you're a triceratops, even though you're dead. I, I fully understand. There we go. Now, this one doesn't seem super huge. 
Never mind, hold on, it goes so far back. Do, 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 do. Okay, there we go, a couple more fossils. Mine a little bit of fossils over here, mine this fossil, mine that fossil, mine every single fossil I can find. There's so many fossils. Where do these fossils come from? Oh gosh, I got lost in the fossils. I got lost. Okay, where am I? Hello? Is there any dinosaurs down here? Eh, <laughs> dudes, I have no idea where I am. I'm somewhere in the cave, but okay, there we go. Found my big boy excavator. Now, hoping this thing will help me clear out the surrounding remaining area. There we go, a little bit of that, a little bit of those. Uh, this thing is so slow. I just wish it was like 10 times faster. Is that too much to ask? Holy macaroni, dudes, look at this. There is so much more fossil that I missed. Now, this looks like the skull to something. All right, boys, let's see if that did the trick. Yes, we did it. <laughs> that literally was the biggest fossil ever. And I don't even know what that was. Was it a protosaurus? Wait, what the heck? It spawned me back at the front? Are you kidding me, Jeffrey? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I guess I lost my mining machine for now. It's uh, it's somewhere in the cave. But I do want to go see which dinosaurs we have so far, just so we can keep track. Next episode, I definitely, 100%, am going to unlock one full dinosaur so that we have the chance to actually bring it to life. Now, personally, the Triceratops would be perfect for this. I really only need the front two legs, and then I think that's it. I have a little bit of the Spinosaurus. I have the Charonosaurus. Yep, I, nope, not sure what that is. We have one tiny little bone structure piece of the pterosaur. We have no pieces of the stegosaurus. We have some brontosaurus right there. We're missing everything from the pachyophalosaurus. I have no idea what these names are. We'll be discovering and digging up dinosaur fossils that have been buried for hundreds of millions of years. Real quick, before I do get to mining, if you guys could please go like today's Welcome video if you guys shop. do want to see another episode. Excuse me, shopkeeper! I am trying to tell the beautiful people of the internet to leave a like on today's video if they would like to see a part two. Wait, you said I could buy stuff? Hold on, wait. Okay, okay. So this is the guy I bought my excavator from. Now, I really don't know if I have enough emeralds. I, I have a couple stacks. Let's see, do I have enough for the large driven drill? Apparently not. I have to be close, though. Since it has been a while from the last episode upload, I really am not sure where I placed my excavator. If I had to guess, it would probably be somewhere over here near the exit of the mine, but if I'm wrong, I could be walking around for a flipping long time. Oh, wait a second. No, I see it. Let's go. <laughs> that was a close call. So, it looks like I am right at the end of the cave system. I've gone through most of this and mined up pretty much every dinosaur fossil that I could see. There also are emeralds all scattered throughout this cave that I should be able to utilize there's TNT as well that I can use for the excavation process. Today, my goal is to find the rest of the pieces of the Triceratops fossil so that the scientists can start working and hopefully get a Jurassic Park started for the next episode. If you guys could go ahead and please leave a comment down below of what your favorite dinosaur is, I will do my best to try and find it at some point during the series. My personal favorite is either the Tyrannosaurus Rex, which has giant teeth. It's basically like a walking shark. Either that or the Triceratops. Ceratops. Those things are just the coolest, most unique looking dinosaurs in my opinion. But obviously every single dinosaur is pretty dang cool. They were giant creatures that roamed the earth millions of years ago. Looks like we do have another fossil over here. It kind of looks like a tail. I'm going to go ahead and do my best here to just mine it out nice and slowly. The only issue with the excavator is that I'm not able to mine up the fossils themselves. I actually need to go with my pickaxe. It kind of makes sense though. You need to be very, very, very precise. These are 300 to like 600 million year old fossils that I'm mining. So I can't use a giant backhoe like this. I could potentially break them in the face. Yeah, there we go. Collect, 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 collect. This one definitely seems like a tail. Fortunately, I do have a Triceratops tail already. Wait a second, ladies and gentlemen, it seems like it keeps going on. I think I still do need the Triceratops legs and feet. So this could potentially be it. And that would be amazing. If we could potentially start our dinosaur park today, if I can find all the 
fossils, of course. That would be legendary. Okay, let's see. We have a couple more pieces down here. It is so difficult to find each and every piece to a fossil. Oh, whoa, a pterosaur. I don't know what I found. I think maybe that was the fibula. Wait, hold up. Where did my... Did you just steal my giant tractor? Hey, buddy, get back here. Hi. Okay, I just want to know where my giant backhoe excavator went. This guy smells like straight doo-doo. Well, it can't be that far. I was only gone for maybe three seconds. Wait, is it this way? Or is it this way? Oh, uh, gosh, I think I'm lost, guys. If I can find the exit, I should be able to backtrack from there. So it looks like I mined this already. That is the entrance right there. So I think if I go around and wrap around the right side of the cave system, I should be able to find it. No problem. If any villagers are listening, I would appreciate it if you guys would stay away from my machinery. Also, if you guys do see any fossils throughout today's episode, please leave a comment down below with a timestamp just in case I miss it. I can go back, watch through the video, and see maybe where it is. Looks like we do have another giant fossil over here. Ooh, I don't care, miner. Okay, I know you guys are pretty cool people and you're helping me out here with the mining process, but you did steal my giant tractor. And actually, I don't really even think they're doing anything. I see them walking around all the time. A couple of them like to bathe in this little pond, but none of them seem to actually be mining. I think I might be the only productive person in this entire cave system. That's okay, though. More dinosaurs for me. I will take all of the credit when I start the world's first ever Jurassic Park. I don't think I can get any deeper, ladies and gentlemen. I keep trying to mine those emeralds. Oh, it's so far. Come on. I think I'm going to have to hop out of this puppy. Here we go. We have a giant fossil. Let's get it. Oh, my gosh. It's so big. There we go. We'll mine up all of this. I need to make sure to not miss a single piece of this fossil. Whoa, it goes so deep into this wall. Okay, I think I maybe got all of it. There we go. There might be a couple other pieces up here. Oh, yes, here we go. I have no idea what this could be, but it seems like it is a giant dinosaur. It could be a part of a Brachiosaurus, but it probably, if I had to guess, is not part of a Triceratops. I've already gotten most of the giant pieces from that. It would also be amazing if this is the torso of the Spiniosaurus. That is one of my other other favorite dinosaurs. It is massive. It is flesh eating and it is scary. The fossil also goes super deep into this cave system too. So it is going to be a pain in the butt trying to make sure that I have mined every single piece of the fossil. Even if I miss one single piece, the scientists back at the science lab will not be able to put the giant fossil together. Seems like this might be a rib cage. If I'm just keep gonna mine. Yep. Yeah, just keep mining. Just keep mining. How much more of there is this? There's a little bit more over here. There's even more right here. It seems like I got most of the rib cage, even if that was a rib cage. I'm not 100% sure. By the way, also, if you guys did notice, behind me is a completely new setting, a new background. I actually just got done moving into a brand new apartment. It has been a lot of work, but trust me, ladies and gentlemen, this place is amazing, and I'm going to make so many of amazing, awesome videos for you guys. First things first, though, I need to open my own dinosaur park. That is a dream of mine. I need to get one single dinosaur to be living. I think this might be the last of the fossil. Yes! Tyrannosaurus Rex! That was the leg and the torso. I think I might only need the head. If I am somehow able to excavate an entire T-Rex fossil just today, that would be amazing! I'm on the lookout for more. I need to sniff them out. Nap, nap, don't talk to me. I am way too focused. There has to be a T-Rex fossil somewhere. I'm just looking for the head. The one final piece. It looks like I may have discovered a hidden fossil. I just started randomly digging in the walls, and it seems like there might be one back here. Yes, there is. I was right. Here we go. Mine a little bit more, Mr. Backo. Good, good, very good. This one looks like it might be stuck way high up in the ceiling. The excavator's having a little bit of issues getting the blocks at the top, but it looks like I probably excavated the area around it for the most part. I just want to make sure when I go in with the pickaxe, I have visible sight of every Every single piece of the fossil so that I can't miss it. There we go. I think that might be good. Let's get it. Fossil one, fossil two, fossil three, fossil, fossil, fossil. Lots, lots, lots of fossils. <laughs> oh my gosh. This one's so tiny. Did I get it? Whoa. A dodo. Whoa. I had no idea there was a dodo bird hidden in there. That has to be one of the most rare fossils. Well, looks like I found the dude who's just casually taking a bath. 
in the middle of a cave. That's normal, right? Don't mind me. I'm just gonna continue doing my job and not taking a bath. They actually look kind of fun. <laughs> uh, well, they have made a game about it. And also, it is not your favorite. Obviously, swimming around in cave water is your favorite, mister. How about this? You take over the backhoe, mine the rest of the dinosaurs, and I'm gonna go on a quick cookie break. No, no, you don't. You're just gonna keep bobbing up and down. Okay, this guy is not having it. Excuse me, sir. I need to uh, excavate this area. I'm gonna need you to take three steps forward for me. Okay, or not. I've been going around this cave for a few minutes now, and I really don't see any more visible fossils anywhere. I think I might just have to start mining around randomly in the walls just to see if maybe I can get just one piece of a dinosaur fossil to show up. Yes, exactly like that. Look at it. We have another dinosaur fossil. Okay, that definitely looks like a tail. Or, wait, maybe not. It's getting a little bit bigger. Let's go ahead and get our hands dirty. Whoa, whoa, this thing is way bigger than I thought. It just keeps going back. No way. Go, 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 mine. Go, go, go. We need dinosaurs now. I'm really afraid I'm missing some of this, ladies and gentlemen. There is so much more fossil than I was prepared for. We'll get you all. Don't worry. Every fossil will come. Nobody gets left behind here. You're doing great, Jack. Just keep mining. Don't, no, no. Okay, let's see. A couple more over here. Just keep mining. Just keep mining. Just keep mining. Oh my gosh, there's too many. Okay, we have one, two, three. Is that it? Yes, a brontosaurus. Let's see. We found a leg and a tail. I feel like I keep finding the most random dinosaur fossils. Like I can't just find one single fossil together of just one dinosaur. I find a bunch of different random ones. Oh my gosh, we uncovered another one. Let's go. Okay, it should be right down here. Okay, this one looks decently big. Or maybe not. Hold on. It's so hard to tell. There's so much dirt covering these things. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, it just keeps going down. It's getting bigger and bigger. I'm trying to think of what it could be. Looks like it might be a skull. I don't know. It just seems so dense. There's so much bone in this fossil. Oh wait, no. This part keeps going back. This is definitely multiple parts. It has to be. Oh, so you got some emeralds, boys. Okay, don't mind if I do. I will take a couple emeralds. That's honestly probably why the miners are down here. They're just mining the emeralds. They do not care about the beautiful dinosaur fossils. Don't worry. They'll see when I open the dinosaur world or dinosaur park or Jurassic Park. Not really sure what I'm going to call it yet. Beck bro Jurassic. No, that's not it. Oh, Brontosaurus again. Is this the last piece? The neck? We are missing one single leg. Wait, does that mean that it has to be somewhere over here? I mean, it kind of makes sense, right? That the dinosaur fossils would all be together? I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and keep mining randomly in this area to see if maybe I can find it. It's possible too that it could be hidden somewhere up in the ceiling. Let's go ahead and use our scaffolding. Okay, we're at the top. Let's see if maybe there's something up here. Oh, we got another one, boys. Let's go. Please tell me this is a brontosaurus or a triceratops piece. Oh my gosh, there's a huge area inside. This one could be massive. Let's go ahead and drop down some TNT just to help us out a little bit here. Fire in the hole. Oh, wait, does that mine it up? Hopefully I didn't just destroy some of the fossil. Yo, we got the brontosaurus. That has to be it. Is it it? What else am I missing? Whoa, Make we did it. We we'll be, be able, able to create, to create a, living a living dinosaur. dinosaur. Oh my gosh, we done did it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I'm heading back to the facility. Let's use our fast travel, please. Please work. Please. Come on. I need to fast travel. We have to get back. We're creating a flipping life, life dinosaur. Please tell me this worked. Okay. We're heading back in. It looks like they may have figured it out. Here we go. He's going to take me to the lab. Okay. Go ahead. Keep moving. Come on, Larry, the lead researcher. Let's do this. This is our beautiful research lab. As you can see, there's a lot of experiments going on, a lot of which I have no clue what's happening. But this is the brontosaurus. Okay, so this is the button. Are you sure? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do it in three, two, one. Dinosaur. No way. If this works, that would be legendary. Come on. Oh! Oh! Oh, this thing is huge. Okay, let's go follow Larry. He should be able to move the brontosaurus down to the living enclosure in the Beckbro Jurassic Park. Larry, stop jumping around. I know you're super excited like I am, but we need to move. Let's go have a quick sneak peek at our Triceratops. We only need two more legs, the front two legs, and then that thing will be living as well. I cannot wait. Ladies and gentlemen, please smash the like button with a dinosaur fossil if you guys do want to see more episodes of this.
The Tyrannosaurus Rex is also extremely close to being done. I need to see how that looks in living form. Let's see, this is the entrance to Beckbro Jurassic Park. The Brontosaurus looks like this one. So I should just have to go back here to the left. I think I see it, yo, there it is. The giant dinosaur. It looks like the Dodo will be in with the Brontosaurus. Its diet is obviously herbivores, if you guys could not tell from the looks of him. He's also 22 meters tall and weighs 15,000 kilograms. Let's see, can I get in? No way. Oh my gosh. Look at this beast. Okay, please do not eat me. I am the one that found your fossil and brought you back to life. This is unreal. Ladies and gentlemen, we have officially brought life back to the dinosaurs. You are no longer extinct, my friend. Today, I have big plans, ladies and gentlemen. By the way, before I get into those, please be sure to leave a like with your dinosaur fossil if you are enjoying today's video. If you don't have a dinosaur fossil, just go ahead and use your flipping foot if you have to. As you guys can see, we only have one dinosaur unlocked, but we still need to find one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different dinos. I don't even want to know what this one is. I can't tell. It's probably going to be the T-Rex. There also is a Spinosaurus, which I am super excited to find. And then there is the Pachycephalosaurus. Yep, can't say I've ever heard of that one before. If we go ahead back inside to the dinosaur fossil displays, you will see that I have completed this bad boy right here. A couple of them are so close to completion, such as the Tyrannosaurus Rex. I believe the only two fossil pieces I have left are the hands, uh, or uh, claws, I guess, paws maybe. I don't know what the uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex hands are called. And then we're gonna need a massive T-Rex head with giant teeth. Maybe we'll find it without the teeth. That would actually be kind of good because then it won't be able to eat my face or eat my cookies. If there are any other fossils that you guys do see during today's video while I'm mining that I miss, be sure to leave a comment down below with a timestamp. I am sometimes pretty smart, but also other times I'm, I'm not very smart and I'm kind of dumb and uh, yeah, I'm a big dingus. Hello, Mr. Shopkeeper. In the last episode, if you guys missed it, a bunch of you guys commented that I should have enough emeralds for this large driven drill. Currently, I only have my massive excavator. I like to call him Jerry the Excavator. He's great and all. Jerry does the absolute most amount of work you have ever seen an excavator do, but it would be amazing if I had a large driven drill just because look at it. It's massive. You guys were saying that if I put the emeralds in my inventory, it might work. So, dude, dude, seriously, I believe that I have enough emeralds. Everybody said I had enough. I don't like you. I don't like your big nose. Your eyeballs are pretty cool, though. What about a small driven drill? This thing could actually help me a little bit just because the excavator is massive and can't get into the small spots. Really? Really? I am counting in my inventory that I have enough emeralds. I will chop off your nose, sir. Well, since that guy's being a big dingus butt, we're gonna go ahead into the mines, and I guess I'm just stuck with my excavator, Jerry. I'm kind of getting sick of Jerry. Hey, Stick. Thank you, Steve. You seen Jerry anywhere? Okay, he's at the back of the cave. I tend to get lost in here a lot, ladies and gentlemen, so let's go adhere to the map. We are that red dot, and I need to go, like, over here, I think. Jerry! Jerry, where are you at, big boy? Jerry, are you up here? Hello? Jerry, you gotta talk to me, dude. Jerry! Are you under this TNT, Jerry? All right, let's see. Jerry, are you hiding down there? Hello? Jerry, are you in the hall? He's not down there. Hello, Mr. Scientist with a monocle on. Have you seen my pal Jerry anywhere? I forgot to put a tracking device on him, and uh, I think he may have ran away. I did not realize that excavators could run away from home, but apparently it's possible. Yo, Jerry, my dude! I guess technically he probably hasn't been anywhere. I'm just a big uh, dingus brain, and I didn't realize I left him here. I missed you, buddy. We got some work to do today. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going insane. I didn't even know where he was. I do remember this spot, though. We did so much dino digging in this area, so I'm gonna go ahead and assume that there's probably no more dinosaur fossils there. There's some TNT here. The villagers probably placed it obviously for me to explode so let's do it come on give me some dinos dino dino hey dino i don't see any dinos jerry what's up little dude how you doing you got any fossils down here for whatever reason the villagers and the miners around here don't really seem to do anything whatsoever they just kind of stand around they tell me tips about mining 
obviously I'm gonna prefer to have you uh, cut the last part out. Around the caves, ladies and gentlemen, there's just villagers standing around doing absolutely nothing. I don't know what the purpose is. They're in mining gear. They kind of just watch me, though. Obviously, they don't have their own excavator, Jerry, but still, you know, they could just pick up a pickaxe and maybe help me a little bit, especially because I have, I believe, excavated every area possible. Wait a second, I might see something in there. Yes, let's go. We have a fossil. I really hope it's a T-Rex, ladies and gentlemen. That would be so cool if we can find the T-Rex head as the first fossil of the day. Oh my gosh, I just found the jackpot of emeralds too. Look how many there are. Shortly after mining today's episode, we should be able to get at least the tiny mining drill. And if not, that dude is absolutely just super stupid and doesn't know how to count. Or maybe I'm the dumb one. I'm not really sure. This does look like a pretty tiny fossil, so I'm thinking it's a Charnosaurus. Uh, do, uh, did we find the arms, I think? Sweet, I'll take it. We're one step closer to another dinosaur in the Beckbro Jurassic Park. Whoa, ladies and gentlemen, this one is the deepest fossil I have found yet. It was legit, I think, 10 blocks hidden inside of this cave wall. That means it has to be something huge. Now, let's see. Looks like it might be the chest of some sort of fossil. All of these kind of localized fossils together makes me feel like it's definitely a giant piece of a dinosaur. Let's see. Okay, this should be the last piece or not. Oh, wait, no, this is the last piece. Did I do it? Where is it? Wait, what did I do? There has to be more. Are you kidding me? Is it up? Hello, dinosaur fossil. I don't have my dinosaur fossil detector on me right now, so please show yourself. Hello, hello, dino, dino. Seriously, let's try out some TNT. Fire in the hole! I fell in the hole. Yeet among us, let's do it! Okay, please give me fossil. Please do not accidentally blow up fossil. Yes, okay, it uncovered some more of it. Now let's see, this is the last piece? Yes, it is. What? What are the chances? We found the Charnosaurus head. I believe we just need the hands and the feet. The weird part is it looks like this wall goes back even further further. Yep, never mind. Hit a dead end. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't know that the excavation blocks do this. Yes, we found another one! I keep going deeper and deeper into the cave walls and I just keep finding more. Now, if this is a Charnosaurus, I, I also don't know if I'm saying that right, but if it is, then we have the last piece, but no, it's not. It's a Pachiosaurus, maybe? Definitely did not say that right. There has to be a fossil in this corner. Look, there's so much clay. It seems like it goes back back super far. Come on, give me something. Tell me I'm right. Yes, there we go, dudes. I think TNT might be the new way to start uncovering fossils. The excavator is really good for destroying the surrounding blocks around the fossils, but the TNT is great for just trying to find a huge area with fossils. From my expert experience as a dinosaur mining uh, digger, I would have to say this is probably a Triceratops. If I'm right, ladies and gentlemen, you have to leave a like on today's video and also send me any cookies that you have, please. This one is huge, dudes. Okay, I might need more TNT just to uncover it all. This looks like it could be an entire dinosaur fossil all in one. It just keeps on going back. I've been mining this thing for a couple minutes now. The problem with massive fossils is that I have no idea where all the pieces are. They're so scattered. Well, that is okay. They pay me lots and lots of cookies to be a professional dino digger, so I will get the job done. Either that or I will give up and call Bessie and then she'll help. I think these should be the last couple pieces. Let's see. It's also possible I missed something. Oh my gosh, we found another Pachycephalosaurus. Yep, that I, I'm saying that's so wrong and I know it. Let's see how I say this. Pachycephalosaurus. Pachycephalosaurus. Okay, yep, I was way off. TNT yeet! Please tell me there's a fossil back there. Come on, come on. Nothing. Hey, dude, you find any fossils up here? It looks like he's protecting something. Uh, like yep, yep. Excuse me, sorry. Bye. Let's see. Whoa, we saw. Hiding 10 TNT all to himself? You guys don't think that there's fossils in the ceiling, do you? That would be really, really weird and difficult. I would have to use so much scaffolding to try and get it. This feels like a good spot to blow up lots and lots of TNT. Yeah, do we go? Everybody back to flip up. I knew it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm getting so good at this. Whoa, that was a quick one. It was super tiny. Looks like we found the little hands. And there's also another one right over here. We might be able to find the entire patchy of Philosophosaurus. I already forgot how to say it. Pecacephalus. All right, I'm definitely gonna forget that again. Pecacephalosaurus, Pecacephalosaurus, Pecacephalosaurus. That's a tongue twister. Come to Papa, Pecacephalosaurus, uh, the weirdest creature-sounding animal I've ever heard of in my entire life. Now, it looks
looks like I got every single part of that fossil, but there are still a few pieces hiding around. Come on, you guys darn dinosaur fossils. I don't know why they're all hiding from me. I just want to bring them back to life. Is that so much to ask? Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot find this for my life. It has to be somewhere around here. I've never had a fossil that I can't find the last piece. Excuse me, Mr. Miner, we have a problem. I can't find the rest of it. I don't care what you have to say. I need your help mining. No, no, don't walk away from me. I am talking to you. Do not walk away from me right now. Yeah, that's right. Move the two legs right over there. Okay, so, so you see the problem is I found part of a fossil, and the thing is I can't seem to find the rest of it. No, 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 don't, don't leave. Don't leave. Please, please come on. You, you, you gotta help me. I guess we'll have to come back here later. If you guys do know anything about uh, the fossil or anything that I missed, please leave Those a comment down below. Excuse me, sir. I understand the fossils are not going to activate themselves. I was trying to find the fossil. It's okay, though, because I did manage to find another fossil. Oh, my gosh. I found a dodo bone. Now, this one is one of the smallest, if not the smallest dinosaur fossil that we will probably come across. So if we can find any more dinosaur fossils of the dodo showing, we should be able to maybe bring that back to life today. Any dodos back here? Hello, dodo. Dodo back here. Dodo. No dodos. This does go awfully deep back, though, so I'm thinking there's probably some sort of hidden fossil. And when I think there's a hidden fossil, I will explode everything. Let's see it. Show me the fossils. Whoa. I mined it up with TNT. There has to be another dodo fossil somewhere back here. I'm just going to keep exploding. Come on. Give me a dodo. Give me a dodo. Come on. There has to be something. Yes, there it is. Go. Come on. Come on. Yes, it's the dodo head. Let's we completed the dodo. The Let's go. Dinosaur. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm heading back to the facility. Sadly, I wasn't able to find the Tyrannosaurus Rex fossils, but the dodo, I found all of them today. If we head up to the second floor, you will see the dodo is 1000% complete. It is the opposite of a Tyrannosaurus Rex in every single way possible. But that's okay. I'll take what I can get. We will build Beckbro Jurassic Park one dino at a time if we have to. Let's go ahead into the research lab and talk with our head scientist who should have the dodo fossil ready. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The moan of truth. Let's see if they were able to do it. Come on. Give me a little dodo. If you guys do have a name for our dodo, please let me know in the comments down below. I think I might just call it chicken. Look at it. It's so cool. It literally looks like a dinosaur version of a chicken. Hello, baby chicken. I don't know why you're licking the ground, but you're still super cute. Let's go ahead over and check out the dodo exhibit. So here we have the brontosaurus, and it looks like the dodo is actually in with the brontosaurus. No way. Hello, baby chicken. No, 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 no escaping today. That was a close call. What? I can ride on the chicken? Look at it. I'm on the chicken dodo. <laughs> I just realized I can ride on the brontosaurus. This is the best day of my entire life. Dig some dinos. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry for my abruptness. I just woke up and had a lot, a lot, and a lot of coffee. Now, I did pick out some names for these guys. So, this bad boy will be Bruce the Brontosaurus. Little Derpy Bird will be called Derpy Donto the Dodo, and he is beautiful. I can ride on his back, too. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm way too big. Let's go ahead and fast travel to the shop. A lot of you guys have been giving suggestions on how I can use my emeralds. I have so many. I was able to use a couple to buy stacks and stacks of TNT, which we are going to be using today. But for whatever reason, this nubcake noodle face won't give me anything. Obviously, TNT is only 25 emeralds, so I was able to buy a few stacks of that. But what I really would love is a large driven drill. Jerry the Excavator is great, but hasn't really been able to do much just because it's massive. Some of you guys were telling me to put all of the emeralds that I need in my inventory, or rather my hotbar, just like that. So I believe this all together is over 200 emeralds. So in theory, I have enough to buy it. Yo, I did it! You guys were right! You guys are the best! Where does it go? I kind of forget. Um, hello, little noodle face brain. I'm, I'm sorry that I called you a noodle face brain, and uh, I apologize. Can we be friends now? Here you go. I'll give you one extra emerald for good luck. Wait a second. What, what is happening? Whoa, what? 
I'm just dropping the emeralds and I think they're going into my bank account. Is that what I needed to do this entire time? This is so satisfying. Sorry, Noodle Dude. I can't give you the emeralds. Supposedly, I'm not able to drop them. Let's see. Do I have enough to buy the small driven drill? I did it. What about the hand drill? I love it. Oh, no. Never mind. Okay, so it looks like I am down to only about a stack of emeralds. This is great, though. So I now have access to the large driven drill and also the tiny drill. Thank you, Noodle Face. Okay, let's take the tiny drill and test this out first. And then I want to test out the giant driven drill. Sorry, dude, I can't hear you if you're still talking to me. I got things to do, dinosaurs to mine, and drills to use. Yo, Stanley, open up. I got a new drill, my guy. This is going to be so sick. Okay, do I just put it up against the wall? <laughs> yes, I do. Now, this thing was technically called the small drill, but it is amazing. I think this might be better than Jerry, especially because I don't need to do anything. It automatically mines everything in front of my face. Now, also later in today's video, I will be exploding every single piece of the TNT that I purchased because in the last episode, I figured out that is a super overpowered way to uncover hidden dinosaur fossils. Oh, hey, Jerry. No, it's not what it looks like, okay? This is, uh, uh, Barry. Yep, Barry is, uh, he's not, no, it's not mine. I think Jerry's angry. Okay, Barry, I'm going to leave you there while I go grab Ferry, the giant driven drill. I really should work on these names. I am hoping that I am able to somehow use, uh, what is this guy's name, Ferry? I'm really hoping I can use Ferry, my new giant 175 emerald drill, in order to uncover the rest of the Tyrannosaurus Rex fossils. If you guys watched the last episode, you knew that that has been my goal for quite some time now. The thing is, I kind of maybe found the complete opposite of that. Um, I found a dodo. Dodos are great, don't get me wrong. I love Danto the derpy dodo, but it's completely tiny, and it doesn't have giant teeth like a giant T-Rex does. This thing is sweet, dude! Look at it go! I am sorry, Jerry, but you are the worst mining drill compared to these two. I don't even need to do anything. I could just go straight up to the blocks and mine them immediately. The next dinosaur fossil I do uncover, just on cue. Wow, that was amazing. But I do want to blow it to smithereens because last episode, this actually just automatically mined the dinosaur fossil. It didn't harm it whatsoever. Let's see, look at that. So supposedly that's mining it. I really hope so anyway. It seemed to work last time, but if I'm destroying dinosaur fossils, uh, I think I might cry. Yes, come on. Let's see how many more pieces. Oh, we got a big one, ladies and gents. Okay, this is going to call for lots and lots and lots of TNT. Explosion time! Run, run, dude, run, run the other way. Don't look. Stop, don't, stop talking to me. I'm focused. Oh my gosh, this one's stuck all the way up in the ceiling. Let's see, I need to strategically place down some TNT above these fossils. It does get a little bit difficult though when they are in the ceiling because there are pieces of bedrock everywhere that I cannot mine. So let's see, I think a TNT here, 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 and here, and here, and here, and here, and um, a little bit there, and there, and here, and there, and here, and everywhere. Just do it everywhere, Jack. This looks beautiful. Okay, TNT, TNT, I'm go uh, okay, all right, all right, I'm getting out of here. Please work, yes, it's working. Did it get all of it? Yes, we got the Pachycephalosaurus. Wait, did we find all of it? Hold on, I don't know what I was missing, but that looked like a complete fossil to me. I don't know what you guys saw. What do you think, huh? Uh, the lab gives you the, the creeps. Okay, well, um, could you find the last piece of the Pachycephalosaurus? I get that name wrong every time. Considering most of the dinosaur fossils I've found are somewhat close together, I'm going to guess that it's someplace over here. Just so I don't have to look around for a couple hours, we're just going to use the power of TNT explosions. Please tell me I was right. Give me something and I was definitely right. I don't, can you grab a pickaxe or something and possibly mine? You obviously have all the miner gear on. I have nothing. I'm just a half zombie, half Steve who has a lot of TNT. Like way too much TNT for anybody's own good. Now let's see, just like the last fossil, these are buried, of course, in the flipping ceiling. That means we're gonna have to kind of uh, extrapolate a little bit here and kind of go around the edge. Let's see, come on, I need to find at least one piece before I start launching TNT everywhere. I don't even know at this point if I'm technically mining the fossils anymore. I feel like I'm just using the TNT to explode everything. And I am not mad about that in the slightest. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. 
We're loading it up. I better find at least 17,000 dinosaur fossils after this explosion. Fire in the TNT hole of death. Let's do it. Dude, I don't know why you keep standing near me, but you are definitely going to get exploded. Wait. Yo, wait. Yo, did we do it? Please tell me we did it. Yes, we did it. The patch of cephalosis of the, the, um, yeah. I still don't understand how to fully say that thing, but I will understand eventually. Especially now that we have fully unlocked the dinosaur. Once we go back to the science lab, they should be able to bring it back to life. All right, Fairy, we did amazing work today, even though I did most of the work and the TNT also did probably the most work I've ever done in this series. It's been absolutely fantastic, though. Uh, Jerry, I'm really sorry. I don't think I will be using you again. Uh, whoever that half person is right there, you can, you can have Jerry. Don't mind me. I will gladly take some more TNT. I wish I could carry around a map of this place because I get lost every single minute I am in here. Luckily, we did not go too far deep, so we should be able to head straight right back to the laboratory to bring back the Pachycephalosaurus. I'm sure you guys are probably wondering why I am even allowed in the lab. I can't even say the names. I'm technically not. They told me not to come back here. I kind of just own the entire facility and Bessie mans it. I am the head miner though, which is why I am so good at mining. Hello, my fellow research scientist, smarty pants. I am Jack, as you probably remember, the big Dumbo mining in the mines and getting you all these beautiful fossils. Let's go ahead and do it. This guy looks super cool. I'm not entirely sure what that is on the head bone, but we're gonna find out once we bring it back to life. Here we go. It's not a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but it does look like it could be my first carnivore. Oh my goodness. What is on its head? It looks so funky. It does look fresh though. I do enjoy dinosaurs. Okay, cool. So they should be able to transfer it over into the encloser, which I'll check out if we can maybe find one more fossil. I want to give it a shot. I also just realized, ladies and gentlemen, I am so sorry. I was not recording the game audio this entire time. Hopefully you guys can hear everything now. Uh, yeah, the only really thing that you guys missed was myself exploding TNT. Just in case you guys did want to hear the sounds of the drills though, boom. This thing sounds probably the coolest out of all the drills. But let's go ahead back over to Ferry, the super upgraded version of this giant drill. And we might as well head deeper into the cave to see if maybe, hopefully, we Those can discover a Tyrannosaurus Rex fossil. We are so close to completing it. Now I'm thinking with all of my brand new drills, it should be a walk in the park, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, a piece of cookie or cake. I'm just really hungry. The best part about this one is I can legit just kind of follow the walls and it automatically destroys everything in my path. Everywhere that you guys do see a little box like that with yellow text on it is other areas that I've already previously excavated. Now that does mean that there probably are still some fossils around the area, especially because I have pieces of most of the dinosaurs, but they're not complete. And after playing this map for some time and digging for countless hours, I've realized that a lot of the fossils are localized together in the same areas. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, I have uncovered a massive fossil. This looks like it could be a piece of a spine. Since we do have Jerry, the, or uh, what's his name, Ferry? These names are getting confusing. Now that we do have Ferry, though, we can just absolutely stomp on all this surrounding dirt and brick and uh, concrete, I think it might be. But this should be pretty darn quick. Just gonna drop some uh, mining TNT down here. Don't even worry about it. Sorry, Mr. Dinosaur Fossil. You will be living very, very soon. Good luck, uh, don't explode. Please work, please work, please work. Please mine up the entire thing so I don't have to do anything. Oh, we were so close. Okay, as long as there's no more pieces left in the ceiling, it should just be these three. Oh no, there's a little bit more. Don't worry, I have way more TNT than I should. That hopefully will be it. Come on. Yes. <gasps> the Spinosaurus. Oh my gosh, it was the tail and the arms. If I can find the rest of the Spinosaurus today, I will literally go insane. It has to be around here somewhere. I need to find it. I need to find it. I'm gonna go insane. Okay, do it, do it, do it. Everybody back the flip up. Come on, give me some more Spinosaurus in there. Please tell me it's in there. Whoa, this is such a deep cave. Unfortunately, it ended without any more fossils, so I just wasted about half a stack of TNT. There might still be more in here to the left, so let's get Fairy over into this corner. Give me something, Fairy. How is there nothing? No way. Uh, sorry, little miner dude. Yeah, just, sorry. Yeah, just gonna, uh, yeah, excuse me. Yep, it's just, uh, 
I have a giant drill and I'm actually trying to do work down here, unlike some people who like to swim in underwater cave ponds. Looks like I did also find another fossil over here at some point. I need to make sure I don't accidentally get stuck. And I think I might have accidentally gotten stuck. Oh, no, I think we're okay. Or maybe not. Dudes, I think I'm stuck. Fossil arm, we're okay for now. I don't know if this is another piece of the Spinosaurus or possibly a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but I would love to find one of the two before ending off today's episode. Since we did uncover it, you guys know what we should do. Grab as much TNT as physically possible. Dig a small hole in the wall. Light it up with as much TNT as we can. Fire in the hole, boys. Let's back the heck up so I don't die. Give me something. Oh my gosh. I think we just uncovered like 16 different fossils. There are so many. I'm just going to surround the walls with TNT and see how much we can uncover. Hopefully it all stays contained within this hole. Drop a comment down below of what dinosaur you think this will be a part of. Let's see. Okay, I got all the ones to the left. There is still more fossil going straight back. I think it might end right here. So let's do a tiny explosion there to see if that can uncover a little bit of it. There's also so much in the ceiling, which is the worst. Should be okay, though. I think if I place some TNT strategically up in the ceiling, we should be able to get it without having to use any scaffolding. Okay, kind of worked a little bit, maybe. Since this is extremely massive, I think this could be a Spinosaurus spine. Oh, was I correct? Please tell me I was. It was a leg. It was the spine. Did we get it? Please tell me we got the entire thing. Yo, no, no way. way. This is the best day ever. All right, Fairy, we have done amazing work today. I think this was the most fossils I've uncovered in the least amount of time. I don't know about you guys, but the Spinosaurus is one of my favorite dinosaurs ever. Be sure to comment which one is your favorite down below. I just look at it. It is beautiful. The giant spinal bones are just, they just blow me away and it's going to look so cool when we bring it back to life. There we have it. Look at those teeth. This guy looks deadly. Whoa, listen to the roar. What happens if I press the button again? Okay, you just, yep, you're gonna stay there. I'm gonna go meet both of the new dinosaurs in the exhibits. Let's see, here we have Bruce and Danto. I'm not 100% sure where the Spinosaurus and the Pachycephalosaurus are going to be. Oh, baby, look at it, look at it, don't. Don't eat me, do not try and escape. Is it trying to eat me? It definitely is, but I am able to ride on its back. This thing sounds so deadly when it walks. It's a little bit difficult to control, but the fact that I can ride on its back with the giant spine is incredible. All right, you giant beast, you make sure you stay in there. Luckily, there is indeed an electric fence system, so they're not able to escape when I'm trying to get out of the enclosure. Now let's see, where is the other dinosaur? Hello, dinosaur. Hello, Apachycephalosaurus. I think I'm getting better at saying the name. It's possible it might be in the giant free range habitat. This is essentially where every single dinosaur can roam freely all together. I'm not sure if they've been unleashed in here quite yet. I don't see any dinos. Wait a second, did I walk right by it? Is it in with the Spinosaurus? That honestly would be super surprising considering the Spinosaurus is a uh, uh, giant meat eater, but it is. Look at him. Stop trying to eat me, bro. I'm going to get on the Pachycephalosaurus. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have officially doubled the dinosaur exhibits today. This is amazing. We officially have four dinosaurs. Today, my goal is the same goal as every single other episode, and that is to find the mystical, very rare Tyrannosaurus Rex fossil. If you guys are enjoying this series and do want to continue to see more episodes, be sure to smash the like button very lightly with your toe. Do it with your third toe. As you can see, we have been collecting so many different fossils. Over here is the Triceratops fossil. In the middle, we have also collected an entire Spinosaurus, which is my second favorite dinosaur. There is also a flying pterosaur, which I believe we only need the feats. I can't seem to find the feats though. In the past few episodes, I have been becoming Beck Bro Demolition Master by utilizing a ton of TNT. Now I used to use giant mining drills and machines 
scenes, but uh, unfortunately, they're a little bit slow. As you guys know, I like to do things a little bit different, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing in today's episode. So ladies and gentlemen, be sure to strap in, grab your popcorn, and probably you should put on like uh, some sort of headphones because there's gonna be a lot of explosion sounds and it's gonna be a little bit loud. My goal today is simple, and that is to explode this entire cave filled with dinosaur fossils to just smithereens. I'ma just explode it until there is no more cave left. Every miner in here, uh, just a fair warning, I would probably run for your life right about now because I'm going to explode a stack of TNT. Normally what I like to do is kind of dig into the wall, find a little area where I can dig in deeper than usual because that's normally where there's an area with a fossil. Unfortunately, I have dug out so many uh, things. Stop, stop, stop talking to me or else I will explode you. I'm gonna explode you, dude. Nope, 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 I warned him. I warned his face. Three, two, one, explode. All right, I apologize, dude. You just, yeah, you didn't listen to me. Somehow he just survived. So much TNT explosions. Did I get a fossil? Any fossils in here? No fossils. Okie dokie. I don't know what happened over here, but I think I maybe blew it up and possibly maybe broke something. This looks like a pretty good area to blow up an entire stack of TNT. If I do not find any fossils today with my TNT explosions, I am going to cry and eat probably like 12 cookies. Let's test this out. Hopefully my giant mining drill does not get destroyed because I paid some good emeralds on that. Come on, give me some fossils. Really? Nothing? Okay, how about this corner? Let's use the rest of the stack. Yeah, do we go? Oh my gosh. This video is just going to be me exploding so much TNT. Give me some fossils. Give me fossils. Nothing. This is not going as planned. Let's try a little tiny explosion right over here. Maybe if I'm a little bit more precise with my TNT placements, we will be able to use less TNT and find more fossils. I'm not a mathematician, but I think that sounds good to me. I have no idea what I did to this map, but I definitely broke it. Looks like this entire area could use a little TNT. Boom, explosion. Fossils, 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 fossils. Please, anything, any fossils. I found emeralds. But no fossils. Everywhere I look, I have already excavated. This is going to be way more difficult than I anticipated. There has to be something over here. It looks like I tried mining but sort of gave up, so let's try a little TNT action, which makes my life 10 times easier. Please, come on. There is a huge area inside this cave, and there is nothing. I might actually run out of TNT today, and I think I bought, what, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like 12,000 stacks of TNT. If I run out without finding a single fossil, I think I might just quit, honestly. Over here, for sure, there needs to be a fossil. How did I miss this? It looks like I dug here earlier, but then just completely was blind and did not see the beautiful dinosaur fossil back there. Let's see, this looks like it might be a big one. Come on, give me the fossil. Give me a nice giant Tyrannosaurus Rex. Comment down below what you think this dinosaur fossil will be. Looks like we might need to apply a little bit of extra force here. Boom, explosion. Let's see it. Let me get the big, yup, huge explosion. Did I seriously not? Not mine at all. There's still some up here. Okay, let's try and time it. So we'll blow up this one and then three, two, one, this one and see if maybe we can shoot it up. Shoot it up. Uh, okay, that did not work at all. I guess we're gonna have to scaffold our way up there, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if maybe I can plant a little bit of TNT as well. There we go. Light off the TNT and it fell right in my face. Let's try this one more time. There we go. We can also, I guess, mine a little bit. Dude, I have never seen a fossil this high up in the ceiling. Did we unlock a dinosaur? It looks like the entire dinosaur. Yes, we did it. I didn't even realize. I only needed one more piece for that dinosaur fossil. Okay, before I head back, I feel like I definitely need to do a couple more ginormous explosions to find more dinosaur fossils. It looks like I have yet to do anything over in this corner. So let's go ahead and just light it up. TNT and TNT and TNT and TNT. A little bit there, a little bit there. Just got to fill up the, the uh, little gaps there. And yep, looks perfect. Fire in the hole, baby. Let's see some fossils. Nothing? Really? There, there was... There was at least like 40 TNT that I just blew up and there was not a single fossil there. I think I might be dumb. Looks like I did uncover some sort of secret hole over here. Okay. I don't know if I was supposed to find this or not, but I mean, now that we are out of the dinosaur caverns, I guess we should probably head back and actually bring back to life our Tarnosaurus. How's everybody doing today in the research lab? What's up, my dude? Let's bring this dinosaur back to life. You do not look excited whatsoever. 
Oh, there we go. <laughs> this thing looks so cool. Look at its head. It looks like it has some sort of bone on its head, which I'm guessing it probably uses for combat. Oh my gosh, I think it just burped. Before I check out which exhibit it actually is going to go in, I do want to find at least one more living dinosaur fossil today. Let's go try to work our way from the back entrance of the dinosaur cavern to see if maybe I missed a spot. If I had to put my money on it, ladies and gentlemen, there is definitely a dinosaur fossil buried deep over here. We're just gonna do a little tiny TNT explosion. There we go, there we go, there we go. Nothing! Guys, I thought I was actually good at this, but I am terrible. How about right here? Somebody already plays TNT, so I bet that they probably would like Becro TNT Explosion Master Jack to blow this all up. Or maybe it was like a warning sign that I shouldn't use TNT here, but regardless, we are going to find some dinosaur fossils in this corner. Boom, there is one. Well, this thing goes super far back. It looks like it might be a tail fossil. Give me a T-Rex tail. Big T-Rex here. A Protoceratops. I have never heard of this before, but apparently I found a ton of fossils for it already. I'm also starting to realize that I have definitely not explored the back entrance of the fossil caverns. So you know what that means, ladies and gentlemen, we are blowing this place up. Just a little bit of TNT here, a little bit of TNT there. Let's just go ahead and actually blow up the entire little portion of the cavern right here. This definitely increases my chances of finding some sort of dinosaur fossil. Let's see it. Come on. This is going to be the biggest TNT explosion yet. Give me something. Yes. Yes, there is a huge fossil right inside this wall. This has to be a Tyrannosaurus Rex. Comment down below, ladies and gentlemen, what you think this will be. It has to be, though. It has to be a T-Rex. Look how big it is. Either that or this is like an entire dinosaur fossil. Look at it. There's even more. This thing goes up way into the ceiling. Let's see if maybe I can dig up and then wrap around. There we go. We officially found the back part of the huge fossil. This might be the biggest fossil that I've come across. Don't mind me. Just going to do a little bit of TNT everywhere. Okie dokie. Might as well just fill up the entire area that I initially mined in and explode. I cannot wait to see what this is. Look at it. I don't think I'm even going to be able to mine it all. This cavern goes back so far. Now there's a couple pieces that are sort of lagging behind in the ceiling. Let's go ahead and grab those. No, yeah, no, yeah, need to grab them. Looks like the last of it should be right over here in front of my face. Is that it? Wait, I need to put down TNT just in case. What did I miss? This will hopefully uncover it. Let's see. Yo, I got it. The Stegosaurus. It's the chest of the Stegosaurus. Let's go. That means that the last part of it cannot be super far. Is it up there? Come on. Big money. Eh, no fossils. Is it hiding back here? Hello, Stegosaurus. Are you in there, buddy? I just want to bring you back to life. Not there. Maybe it's over here on the opposite side. Let's just do. No, I don't need scaffolding. I need to TNT. This fossil does not want to be found, ladies and gentlemen. It is hiding. If it's in the ceiling, that could definitely be an issue because I can't really get TNT up there and there's no good mining drill that can mine the ceiling. Well, when in doubt, put down TNT and explode everything. At least that's the motto I live my life by. This has to uncover at least a little bit more of the caverns. It might even bounce up to the ceiling. Oh, it worked. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. This has to be the Stegosaurus. Now, I think the last part we need is just the head. So let's go ahead and just shove beautiful TNT in there. Just tap it in. Tap in the TNT. Tippity tap it. Whoa. Okay, this fossil's a little bit bigger than I anticipated. That's fine, though. I think, wait, did we get it? The Stegosaurus! Come on, give me the head. We brought it back to life. That has to be the entire fossil. We did it! Let's go! Beautiful. Let's go bring back our second dinosaur of the day. The TNT came in clutch. That might have been the fastest two dinosaur fossils I have found yet. Especially because in the beginning, I couldn't find anything. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so green. And look at the spikes on its back. I think I want to call you Spiky. If you guys do have any brand new names for our brand new dinosaurs that we received, today be sure to leave a like and also comment down below let's go ahead over to the living enclosure exhibits to see exactly where our researchers placed our dinosaurs i think i might see the stegosaur ladies and gentlemen look how beautiful it is it, it doesn't sound super beautiful and it looks like it's in with our triceratops which is currently eating dirt dinosaurs were definitely not the smartest creatures but there we go we can ride on our brand new stegosaurus and let's go see if we can find our Charnosaurus. Oh, beautiful. He is right across. Oh my gosh, he has an entire waterfall to himself. That is sick. Now, whatever you do, do not hit me with your giant head bone. 
That thing looks dangerous. But ladies and gentlemen, honestly, today was a super successful episode once again. We obviously have yet to discover the last of the Tyrannosaurus Rex fossil, and there are probably at least three to four other dinosaurs that we have not uncovered. If you guys do want to continue seeing episodes, you guys know what to do. Leave tons of support on today's episode. Drop a like down below. Comment down below some ideas of names for our brand new dinosaurs. And I think that's going to wrap it up. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day. My name is Beckbro Dinosaur, the explorer and researcher and paleontologist Beckbro Jack, and I will see you guys all very soon for a brand new video. Peace out, dudes.